What's going on my melons? My name is just Mr. Melon and today I'm giving you guys a really easy, easy, simple tutorial on how to make uh, 3D Minecraft avatars. Now these look really cool as profile pictures, I'll just quickly show you right now. Uh, there's uh, mine that I've made, I'm going to change it back, but there's uh, that's what it looks like as profile picture, it looks pretty cool. And I'll put that on the screen as well, but um, yeah, all you've got to do is go to this, uh, it's pretty simple, you just need GIMP and stuff. Which if you don't know how to download, uh, that will, um, um, there's, there's play tutorials on YouTube and it's pretty easy, so, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so, uh, go to this website, which will be linked down below, and all you've got to do is go to the homepage and then, uh, type in your username right here. Make sure it says avatar, and make sure it's, um, two, five, uh, two, five, six, uh, 256. Alright, and then what it, you click generate. And then what you should do is bring up your head. Now what you got to do is you've got to right click on your head, uh, save image as, and then uh, save it as your desktop. I've already saved it, so I'll place it right there. Right, and then what you want to do is go to your GIMP, uh, open as layers. It doesn't have to be on this uh, little square boxing, by the way. It's open it and uh, do boxing. Right, so then uh, it'll uh, open your head in GIMP, and that's pretty simple. So what you got to do now is you've got to click select all, Select shrink, and you're gonna, gonna you're gonna want to shrink it by 10, <coughs> not 30, because that was already in there. Uh, and then what you want to do is select invert. Uh, was invert? It's I'm lost. It's here. Yeah. All right, okay. All right, and then you want to go and select the bucket tool. And then if you've got two different colours, that needs, this one needs to be black right here, and this one needs to be white. But if they're not, just click on this little uh, mini one down there. I'll send it back to default, and then what you gotta do is uh, create a new layer. Make sure you create a new layer. And make sure it's selected uh, in blue. And then all you gotta do is just click on the right, click right here, and that'll uh, give your avatar a nice little border. Right, I'm gonna try and get to this quick, so it's pretty quick. But anyway, uh, and then you gotta go like select none. Just make sure nothing selected, and then you wanna get the resizing uh, resizing tool, and then just click on it, and uh, try and get it to about the size of the border. If it goes a bit over the board, because it's underneath, you won't really notice at all, so. There we go, make sure the, uh, you can't see any, like, little, uh, white bits or anything. Right, so when you've done that, you've got a border and your avatars in there, make sure that, uh, you've got a new layer, by the way. Right, and then you want to go, go up here to the fuzzy select tool, it's like a little one with a little glow bit on the end. If you've got to click this, uh, select this, you want to, what you want to do now, is uh, go to your eyes you want to hold shift uh hold shift and then just click and then make sure you've selected all of it like all these little like like you select the eye here but see still little bits of red here i mean that doesn't really matter too much that's like uh when, be, when there's a shadow over that, that you won't really notice that so um yeah make sure it's all selected like a nice square for your eyes for example and whatever and then you want to go to filters light and shadow drop shadow and then uh what you want to do is you want to go blur radius, uh, I don't know, about 5, uh, I think that was 5, uh, 100 for that, I think. No, this one was 5, wasn't it? Yeah, this one should be like 10 or something, I don't think that really matters too much. 15, let me see if that's alright. Okay, that one's alright, alright, just copy these settings down then. Uh, these, set these settings right here, just copy these down into your GIMP and then um, that should be sorted. And right, so when you've done that, uh, select none and that should be that should look, start looking pretty cool so now what you want to do is you want to hold shift again and select your hair or select like like because all well most skins are different uh some might have sunglasses and stuff and for this sunglasses would be a great example but unfortunately i don't have sunglasses on mine so like i mean you could always add them but yeah, there's no point in doing that and then what you want to do is when you've selected that just go to filters repeat drop shadow which is at the very top but make sure you haven't make sure you the last thing you did on the filters was a drop shadow and then that'll just repeat the last thing that you did and then after you've done that uh select none and then go to your i've got a little hat right here so what i'm going to do see that looks pretty cool like because it looks like the hair's kind of sticking out of them like a little hat that I've gotten or whatever the hell that is, I don't even know what that is myself, but anyway. <clears throat> uh, select that, uh, filters, drop shadow. You could do that, that looks pretty cool, but like I say, it does look pretty cool as well, like the other way, like, um, like that looks like the hat's going over the hair, and then the hair's going over the body, and the, uh, well, 
Yeah, the hat, the hat's at the very top it looks like, and then the hair, and then the eyes, and then the face. But you could do it where the hair's like, um, the hair, like you could leave it like this, so the hair looks like it's going over the hat, that looks pretty cool as well, but anyway, when you've done that, just go to your head, uh, alpha to selection. What the, that'll select everything inside this border and just click filters, repeat drop shadow. Make sure it's quick convert so it's uh, just click repeat drop shadow. If nothing happens, uh, make sure you click convert and then that'll what that'll do is that'll drop a sh that'll make a shadow um which will make your skin look a bit better like the border. But what you want to do because it's like um I put the Y thing on, so the shadow mainly appears at the bottom and there's nothing at the top. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow, and just make sure that these are both on zero. And you can change this as well if you want a bit. But there. So what you want to do now is just go to your skin again after selection, uh, drop shadow. All right now, invert, and then drop shadow. There, perfect. All right, okay. So as you can see, it shows up at the top, bottom, sides, and all that. So that looks pretty cool. Anyway, guys, that's kind of it now. That looks pretty sick. I mean. This is what it looks like on a channel or on the avatars. I mean, it does look like right now you look at it, you're like, eh, it, just, it looks alright, but it, you can just see these corners and stuff. It doesn't look perfect, but when you have it as an avatar, literally that looks pretty cool. So, anyway, guys, that's about it. You can do this with about like pretty much any skin, but they're all different as well. But I think it'd look up, like if you had glasses on the skin, the best thing to do would be like use this because that would look pretty cool on glasses, not. But anyway, guys, that's it for now. If you like the video, drop a like and comment and tell me how I could improve or whatever or whatever you want to really comment and subscribe or whatever for more. But until next time, guys, peace.